Are you tired of standard Minecraft terrain that generates in a way you've come to expect? Well, do I have a mod for you today? This mod, called TerraMath, allows you to completely customize the way worlds are generated using mathematical formulas. This can produce terrain of all shapes and sizes, massive, tiny, somewhat realistic, anything but realistic. All you need to do in order to get started is begin creating a world like usual, then head over to the World tab. Here, you'll have some additional options. For starters, a section to input your formula. This is where you'll be making the majority of the magic happen, even the most Simple inputs can result in some pretty crazy stuff. But of course, it can also make things far more complicated. But before we do that, I'll quickly touch on a few of the other options here. You've got a scale slider, which essentially shrinks the grid the world generates on, even vertically. For example, these two worlds are using the exact same input. Also, within the advanced tab, you can change the base height of the world, the height variation, and the smoothing. Anyway, back to the formula input. As I mentioned before, there is infinite customization here. The mod page provides you with a list of available functions and operators, so if you can make sense of it, you can begin creating something immediately. There's some formulas provided on the mod page that give you a pretty basic idea of what can be done with this mod. The first example is pretty basic. It results in this sharp, wavy terrain that stretches endlessly. Then you've got some terrain described as volcano-like, along with rolling mountains. And the last example is just listed as some crazy and heavy thing, which, you know, isn't particularly descriptive, but at the same time, I don't really know how to describe this one either. So, obviously, you can create some very interesting terrain with Terra Math, and I wanted to really see what this mod is capable of. So, I presented it to an AI and got it to the point where it can create working formulas. For some time, it just kept generating flat terrain, but with some trial and error, I managed to work past that. Anyway, I asked it to go crazy using everything at its disposal, and it did. In fact, it sometimes went a little too crazy, as there's a limit to the length of these formulas, so I had to narrow that down. And in order to just squeeze in as much math as I possibly could, I asked it to use no spaces, so you know, it could be a little bit longer. And you know what? It started making some pretty cool worlds. This is one of my favorites. The ridged terrain is incredibly satisfying flying on the eyes, I must say. Very scenic. Here's another that's really cool. It covers the world with these massive pillars that just dominate the skyline. And by the way, I'll leave a bunch of these equations in the description. So, you know, if you'd like to test these for yourself, just go ahead and copy them from there. I figured I'd also check if TerraMath works with mods that provide new biomes, and it does seem to do so. For example, here we have biomes aplenty and the biomes successfully generate, which obviously is great. And I suppose it's also worth mentioning these worlds do seem to be completely survivable. Structures still generate, biomes are varied, so you could use one of these as an actual world. There are some limitations with TerraMath. As I mentioned before, the equations can only be a certain length, 128 characters to be exact. Also, each world is going to remain more or less the same when you explore. For some equations, tiling will be incredibly obvious, while others do a solid job of rotating and changing the terrain. However, it will remain the same type of terrain forever. I suppose a really cool feature in the future would be the ability to, say, include multiple equations that can randomly occupy pieces of the world, and maybe even interact with one another, but I'm sure this would be quite complicated. Overall, this is a pretty great concept for a mod. Even with the limitations it currently has, you can still create some awesome worlds, and I'm willing to bet some of you will be able to get even better results. So, if you try it for yourself and create something interesting, leave a comment below with the equation, and I'll make sure others can see it. So yeah, leave your thoughts and complicated maths below, give the mod a try, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.